Hey guys, it's Alicia. Today I have another what's for lunch video for you. I am on the WW Green Plan and sometimes I kind of get in a little bit of a rut when it comes to lunches. And so I've been trying to break out and try different things. A couple of these lunches are newer for me and one is kind of an old standby. I thought I would share them with you guys. So if you're like me, maybe this will give you some new ideas. Now, while I'm on the green plan, I am going to include the points for the blue and purple plants also. Okay, so this lunch is gonna be pigs in a blanket or my version of pigs in a blanket, I should say. I've seen a lot of people using the um, Pillsbury, I think it is, crescent roll dough in order to make really quick and easy pigs in a blanket. And so I thought I would, instead of using that, use my two ingredient pizza dough here, which is gonna be a lot lower in points. And I just love this stuff. I'm always finding new ways to use it. It's called pizza dough, but I've done cinnamon rolls, I've done sandwich pockets, I've done just a lot of different things with this. And I will link a couple of the things that I've done up above and down below if you wanna see some other ways that you can use this dough. But it's very versatile. It tastes delicious and I just love finding new ways to use it. So I'm gonna try it out today with pigs in a blanket. So I'm starting with my dough and I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna just cut it into eight equal parts. I've got eight hot dogs that I'm gonna be using so I'm gonna hopefully be able to stretch this dough into eight individual parts. So then I'm just gonna take each part and I'm gonna roll these out into kind of a triangular shape, sort of like the crescent dough comes because that's how I've seen this done. So I figure might as well kind of copy what they do with the shape of my dough. So I'll just roll this out. And now I'm gonna take one of these Velveeta slices and place that on there. Now, the um, sandwich pockets that I did with this dough, I used craft singles, but I found out that these Velveeta singles are less points than the craft. These are just one, a slice, and the craft are two. So, just a little FYI. Um, you can use whatever type of cheese you want in these though, but I'm gonna use these because they are pretty low in points. So I'm gonna just take that slice and lay it at the top or the widest part of my dough. And then I'm gonna take one of these ballpark white meat smoked turkey franks. Now I just got these recently. I've never tried these before. I kind of specifically bought these to try for these pigs in the blanket, but these are just one point a piece and they're decent sized. So yeah, I thought that'd be worth worth trying out. See what I think of them. So I'm gonna take one of these, put it at the top also, and then I'm gonna just roll this down. Like that. So now what I'm gonna do with this is I'm gonna take a cookie sheet here and I'm gonna spray it with a little bit of olive oil just so these don't stick to the pan. And then I'm gonna take this and just place it on the cookie sheet. And then now I'm gonna do the rest of these up and then I will be back. I've got these all done up, so now what I'm gonna do is take an egg that I've beaten and I'm gonna just baste that on the top of these. And that's just gonna help give these kind of a golden brown look. You don't have to do this if you don't want to, I just like to do it. Okay, now 
and actually I should say, I always forget to say, you need to be preheating your oven at 350 while you're doing all this. So now I'm gonna take some of this everything bagel seasoning and I'm gonna just sprinkle a little, little bit of this on the tops of these. Now this stuff is a point, a teaspoon, so you wanna be a little careful on how much you use because you wanna be mindful of the fact that it does have points, it's, it's low, but still. Okay, so now that I've got these all done, I'm gonna stick these in my preheated oven and I'm gonna bake them probably about 15, 20 minutes. I'm gonna just kinda keep an eye on them and see how they're doing. I just want these to get sort of a little bit of golden brown and then I will take them out and I will be back. While those are cooking in the oven, I'm gonna get the rest of my lunch together. I'm gonna be having some of these Flex, popcorn chips. I got 10 grams of protein. They are only two points a serving. The bad thing is we can't find these at Sam's anymore. So this is my last bag. I'm gonna be sad if I can't find these somewhere else, but they're really good. If you see these, you should definitely give them a try. So I'm gonna weigh out a serving of those, which is 28 grams. Oh, that's a serving. And then I'm also gonna be having some fruit, some strawberries and grapes. I always have strawberries and grapes usually washed up and cut up in the fridge in containers like this, so they're just ready to go. Nice little snack. So I'm gonna have that too, and that's zero points. And then to drink, I'm gonna have one of these Protein 2O waters. These are one point. I let these cook about 20 minutes and they didn't brown up quite like I wanted them to, but I think they're done. So I went ahead and pulled them. I'll let them cool down a little bit and then I will let you know what they taste like. Okay, my husband's gonna have one of these for lunch too. So he's gonna try it and let you know what he thinks. Do you wanna cut it? Yeah, I'll just bite into it. Okay. And you could do mustard with these if you want. I'm kind of surprised he doesn't want mustard. I'm not a huge fan of regular mustard, so. Give the sniff test first. <laughs> also, what you'll have to let us know what you think of those hot dogs. They're turkey dogs. Yeah, it's really good. So this was one of my favorite meals as a kid, the school cafeteria would do that. Mm -hmm. It's it's just very reminiscent of that. It's very classic, you know, kind flavor. Of, yeah, if you've ever had these. You know, the hot dog's great. I mean it, it tastes like a like an actual hot dog? Like an actual hot dog to me. Okay. I, mean, cool. I would I would definitely have those. Um you know the 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 blanket is is good. And that's just the two ingredient pizza dough. And then the cheese in there. Yeah, the cheese makes it, uh, I don't know, the cheese just really makes it very much like the classic uh, for me. So for this being a, a low point, um, Weight Watcher meal is, is awesome. Can you cut that in half and show them what it looks like inside maybe? Yeah, if I can stand up straight without Oh yeah, he's still, he's still recovering from surgery. You're doing pretty good though, right? Yeah, you're being too kind. Depending on the day, you're doing good. cheese in there that looks good and mm -hmm. they smell really good too I'm excited to try them myself but yeah, yeah. so a winner huh yes okay all right thank you for trying mm -hmm. and here is lunch for me today now these are five points a piece on the green plan they are four points a piece on the purple and the blue so five points for the pig in the blanket two for the chips one for the drink zero for the fruit gives me a eight point total for lunch today. And this would be seven points then on the blue and purple. So today's lunch is an easy one that I like to do quite a bit, just because like I said, it's easy, comes together real quick. And 
I guess I would just call these meat roll-ups. I don't know what to call them, but that's what I'm gonna call them. So, I'm gonna start off with some of this oven roasted turkey breast that I get at Sam's Club. I'm gonna take two pieces of this. And that is a serving size. So it's one point for two ounces of this turkey and two slices is roughly two ounces. So I start with that and then I use a Laughing Cow cheese wedge and these are one point a piece. I'll just take one of these, cut it in half and put one half on each piece of turkey. And then this works better with a butter knife. Spread that out on there. And then I'm gonna take an avocado. I'm gonna weigh out two ounces of this. That's just under two ounces. So now I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna slice it on here. Stick it right into the cheese. And that two ounces of avocado is three points. So now, I'm just gonna roll these up. And that is it, it's as easy as that. These are really good though. I like to use a little honey Dijon mustard to dip them in. And this is, if you use a teaspoon or less, it's zero points. If you use more than a teaspoon, it goes up in points. But I try to keep it right around a teaspoon or less, so it's no points. So these are a total of five points. I'm also gonna be doing a smoothie today. I've been doing these daily for a little bit now. I used to have them absolutely every single day and then I kinda got away from it when I started back up with Weight Watchers. But I really enjoy them and they make me feel pretty good too. So I'm gonna have one of those today and I'm just gonna be using my Nutribullet here. So, first off, I'm gonna be using some of this spring mix. This is frozen. I just keep my spring mix in the freezer because that way I don't have to worry about it going bad on me. Take about that much of the spring mix and then I'm gonna add some of this triple berry blend, frozen blueberries, strawberries, and raspberries. And I don't measure this stuff, I just kind of dump it in. So I've made these so many times. But I would say probably three quarter cup, maybe a cup. And then to that I'm going to add a frozen banana. It's a great way to use up your bananas when they start to get really ripe. So I'm going to add some water to this just to get that to kind of come down. Plus you're going to need some kind of liquid to get this to blend up. I just use water. I used to use almond milk but water's zero calories in points. So, so I added probably Mm, half cup, three quarter cup of water to that. And I got a few frozen grapes here. So I'm gonna throw a couple of those in there. And those just help with the natural sweetener. Same with the banana. So I'm gonna take this now, I'm gonna blend it up just to get that kind of knocked down. Now to this I'm gonna add half of a lemon that I just peeled. I throw it in there with the seeds and everything. And then a little chunk of fresh ginger. A little sprinkle of cinnamon. Some almonds. And then a tablespoon of this Super Seed by Nutiva. And it is 
ground flax, chia, hemp seed with coconut. And I just get this on Amazon. So a tablespoon of that, and that is a point. The almonds are a point. Oh, I'm sorry, this is two points. The almonds are a point. And up until those two things, everything has been zero points. And then I'm also gonna do a tablespoon of this chia, and that is gonna be a point too. So now I'm gonna blend all this together. Once I've got that all blended together, I'm gonna add in a scoop of this IsoPure zero carb protein powder in creamy vanilla. Get this on Amazon too. I should say I get the chia seeds at Sam's Club. And this protein powder for a scoop is just one point. And it is, let's see here, 25 grams of protein a scoop. It tastes pretty good too, really. So now I'm gonna just blend this up one final time and then it is done. And that is what that looks like. This is really good. It is five points total, but that is a whole lot of smoothie and it's very, very filling. A lot of times I'll give some of this, maybe about a third or a quarter to my son. That's a good way to get some uh, good nutrition into him too. So just use one of these little silicone straws and voila, that's ready. So along with the smoothie, I'm gonna be having one of these Skinny Pop popcorns. These are just two points for this bag. And then I'm gonna have a Diet Mountain Dew, which is zero points. So for five points for the rolls, five points for the smoothie, zero points for the Diet Mountain Dew, and two points for the popcorn, I've got a 12 point lunch here and it is very filling. Like I said, that smoothie alone is very, very filling. And I really don't need to drink the whole thing, but I'll probably give some to my son, like I said earlier. So that is my 12 point lunch for the day. Also these meat rolls on the blue and purple are only four points a piece instead of the five that they are on the green. So that, I think it's the only difference. The smoothie is the same, the popcorn is the same. So, but the meat rolls being less would make this lunch 11 points for the blue and purple plan. So this one today is gonna be a breakfast sandwich. Now I intermittent fast, so a lot of times I'll do breakfast type items for lunch. So this just kind of reminds me of an egg McMuffin, kind of, just a little bit healthier. So I've got myself a small frying pan there and I'm gonna just spray it with a little bit of this olive oil spray. And then I'm gonna take two eggs and I'm gonna just beat those up, add them to my pan and let those cook. While my eggs are cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and take a couple of these Thomas whole grain English muffins, and I'm just gonna pop these in the toaster and get those going. I also should say I have my oven preheating right now at 350. All right, this looks good, so now I'm gonna take it, stick it on a plate, and set that aside. Then I'm gonna take some of this ham, biscuit ham slices, just got this at Aldi. And I'm gonna take four slices of this and just throw it in the pan, kinda get it heating up a little bit. This ham is one point for two ounces. This is just two ounces right here. Go ahead and flip these. Okay, those look good, so I'm gonna take these off and add them on my plate with my eggs. All right, now I'm gonna just cut my egg in half. And I'm gonna lay that on English muffins. 
Then I'm going to take a slice of that Velveeta cheese, lay that over the egg, and then take the ham and put that on top of the cheese. The other half on top, and then I'm gonna just take these, stick these in my preheated oven at 350, and just let them bake for a couple minutes until that cheese gets nice and melted. Okay, to go along with that breakfast sandwich, I'm gonna have some of this Members Mark cottage cheese. This is three points for 105 grams, and I almost always measure this out just to get it accurate. My battery ran out on this scale and it took a couple days to get a new one and I was missing it big time because I use this scale constantly. 104, close enough. So that right there is three points. I'm also going to have a banana which is zero points and one of these sparkling ice drinks, which is also zero points. All right, I let those cook for about five minutes to get them heated back up all together. That cheese didn't really melt a whole lot, but uh, yeah, they're nice and warmed up, so I'm gonna pull them out. Okay, and here is what this looks like. These are six points on the green plan, and they are just four on the blue and purple. So with six points for the sandwich, three points for the cottage cheese, zero for the banana and the ice drink, I have a nine point lunch. And so this would be seven points on the blue and purple. So those were just a couple of my lunches that I had this week. I hope maybe these gave you guys some ideas. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you on the next one.